Hi, I'm Keith. I'm the only person on this channel who knows how to read. Uh, I don't get a lot of airtime around here, as the vegetable police doesn't really have the capacity to comprehend the information that I share with him, so he chooses to ignore it. I, I send him research documents that prove his diet is ineffective and downright dangerous, and he furrows his brow, attempting to understand it, but with his high school level education, you can imagine he doesn't get very far. So, in today's video, I will be hosting a debate between the Vegetable Police and Kent. Kent is irrepressibly dumb. We, we all wonder how he's even made it this far in life. We actually have a poll going between all the Vegetable Police characters on how long he will live. I've already lost, as I can't believe he's made it out of his 34th year alive. Just, I don't understand how he's made it this far. He quit school in grade three, and he actually believes that lard has super pig nutrients. That's a direct quote. So, without further ado, let's show you our presenters today. We have the vegetable police on the right. No one likes you, Keith. You're short. Uncalled for. And on the left, we have Kent. Shut up, Keith. Wonderful. Okay, so each person will make a statement, and the other will be allowed to respond. Let's start with you, Vegetable Police. Well, dairy is designed for baby cows, so why a human would drink it is beyond me. It's designed to take a cow from 60 to 2,000 pounds in less than a year. So you can imagine what that does to humans. It makes them gurgly fat. If you want gurgly fat around your abdomen, then by all means continue to breastfeed from a cow that you never met. I'd like to interject here, if I may. I don't really care what you do. Well, in a, a recent study, the, the Kapatanka tribe of the African savanna, they, they ate nothing but dairy for seven years and at the end of the seventh year they they all had four percent body fat and they had no evidence of heart disease in fact their their cholesterol was zero and they their hearts were twice the size of ours and 70 percent more efficient they are the healthiest tribe of people known right now on planet Earth. So that basically just pretty much refutes everything you just said. Everybody knows you're lying right now. You can't just make up a tribe of people and pretend that they're this race of dairy super soldiers. You had zero conviction in what you said, and anybody with a basic understanding of human psychology could tell you were making it up as you went along. You can't have zero cholesterol, you would die. Everything you said was a lie. You can't prove that. Show us some evidence then. I could, but I, I feel like I would be wasting the audience's time, and I'm more respectful of their time than you are, apparently. And you of all people should know that what we first imagine in our minds will soon become our reality so even if they don't exist right now they do exist in my mind and eventually they will walk this earth anyways as i was saying dairy is designed to make cows grow extremely fast do you know how it does that kent insulin like growth factor you ever heard of that one igf1 it's been clinically proven to make cancer cells replicate faster, and it also causes accelerated tumor growth. It also increases your risk of death by all causes. All causes. Everyone. You say that like it's a bad thing. I personally have like seven different forms of cancer in my bowel cavity alone. Who cares? Cancer's not a disease. 
It's a lifestyle. A lifestyle? A lifestyle. How is dying a lifestyle? You're a lifestyle. Nice rebuttal. Well, what you failed to mention in your little rant was that dairy is creamy and delicious. Milk is very hydrating and cheese is strengthening to the throat. It causes death. Well, not according to a study done just last week where 600 participants were followed for their, their whole life and they, they all, everybody who drank milk lived and, and all, all the vegans died in, in six weeks. You were making that up as you were talking. I can see through your paper, it's just a drawing of a giraffe. Oh my God. Regardless, truth is self-evident and it doesn't need proof. Keith, you can't just let them make things up. This is a debate. I'm sorry that I gave the impression that I was listening to this conversation that you two are having, but I personally find my imagination far more captivating. Well, then I win. I, I win the debate. He's just lying. I'm presenting facts here. 70% of the world is lactose intolerant. That should tell you something. And casein sensitivity, which is a sensitivity to the protein in milk, that's increased every year since we've been able to accurately test for it. There is literally no upsides to consuming dairy, only downsides. How convenient of you to leave out the fact that the countries that consume the most dairy have the least amount of osteoporosis. That's the opposite of true. Those countries have the most osteoporosis and you're probably reading your study upside down. You broke your arm doing a push-up once. You can't prove that. I filmed it. You were trying to show off and your arm snapped in half like a pencil. The countries that eat the most dairy have the most osteoporosis. Don't you read? I mean, my God, we can't even absorb the calcium in milk. Yeah, well, how come I can do this then? That didn't even look like me. It looks exactly like you. Nobody else on earth looks like that. So what if it was me? I healed that arm so fast you couldn't even blink. It was like two years tops. Went by like that. Yeah, it looks healed. Anyways, I'd like to end with a closing statement, if you don't mind, Keith. Actually, we're short on time. We're gonna have to wrap it up, so maybe next episode. Keith, you're short. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Just because I chose a non-violent path for myself doesn't mean that you can just- Yeah, shut up, Keith. So, bottom line, if you're suffering with any digestive issue, or you have acne, you're depressed, you have a so-called autoimmune condition, bullshit, those are fake. You know it. If you're suffering with anything at all, the first step I recommend you take is to eliminate dairy from your life. If there's one food that you could eliminate and just turn your life around, we all know what it is. It is that white liquid meat, otherwise known as white cow baby nipple juice and all its derivatives, milk, cheese, kefir, butter. If you remove those from your diet and you don't feel better, I will personally give you $3 as a rebate when you buy a Vegetable Police t-shirt. No guarantee. And I would like to encourage you all 
to remove all foods but dairy from your diets so you can experience the full health that the Kakamango tribe experiences. That wasn't even the same name of the tribe. They change it sometimes. It's a survival tactic. Surprised you didn't know that? You would die in the wilderness. You're the wilderness. Well, that was a waste of everyone's time. I'd like to thank you for watching today. You can share this debate with people whose time you don't mind wasting. You can give this video a thumbs up if your IQ is below 23, or do the right thing and thumb this video down so we never have to sit through another one of these episodes again. So thank you and subscribe if you've completely given up hope on bettering your life and you actually have time to waste watching these videos. So if that's the case, we'll see you in the next episode. I'm not doing that.